All right, folks, welcome back to Free America for yet another Victorinox knife video. So today I've got an interesting piece of gear here that I wanted to be able to compare uh, to uh, two commercial models that I think are, are pretty common. Now this one here is the, see if I can get that. There you go. This emblem is the Dutch military emblem and it has all three Army, Navy, Air Force uh, emblems on it. So this is a Dutch military issue knife. It's made by Victorinox. Um, it's got the one hand blade opener which you all by now if you've watched any of my videos you know that I, I really love that. Um, and it also has the zipper, right? The, uh, the gut hook. But in this case, it's not used for, for gutting. It's used for cutting clothing, right? It's like a rescue tool. So this one has um, the two standard uh, screwdriver tips. This one is the bottle opener, screwdriver, um, and wire stripper, and the can opener, and the small screwdriver, OK? Um, and this one locks, which I think is pretty cool, right? Just like, just like this one, or just like this one. Um, what it does not have is the saw, right? So this is an interesting piece because, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Victorinox does not make a commercial knife like this. This one is is only available. Um, as a piece of surplus from the Dutch military. I apologize for the flashing of my uh, of my fan here in the kitchen. Um, I'm actually in the kitchen shooting a video, which is <laughs> something I I frankly never get a chance to do because most of the time um, my family and my my pets and everybody and my dogs and cats and elephants and shit are running around. So God bless America. So. This is the soldier, right? The soldier knife. And it has the blade, right? The one hand open blade. And it has the saw, which is really sharp, so I'm gonna close it. And it has the two screwdrivers, right? Just like this one. Except, right, it doesn't have the zipper hook. So this is the Hunter, and it has um, the one hand open blade, right? This one is a, a non serrated edge. It has the zipper, right? But it also has, let me see if I can do this without cutting myself, it also has the saw. What it does not have are the screwdrivers. So, I think this is a pretty fascinating little knife. Now, my understanding is that uh, this is issued, this is a pretty standard issue in the Dutch Army. And the idea is that you can cut clothing off of a wounded soldier um, with this hook. That's what it's for. So, so that, I think, is pretty cool. Um, uh, it also has Phillips head, and it has the punch, right? Which is not the not the all with the eyelet. Um, so I think that's a pretty cool piece uh, piece of gear. Now, like I said, um, I've only ever seen these knives available uh, on the surplus market, and even then, so I actually got this one off of eBay, and uh, they they sold it to me as used, but it's it's if it is used, you wouldn't know it. Um, it did have a little bit of dirt, <laughs> like sand in it, but I think uh, any piece of military gear is probably going to have a little bit of sand if you, if you carry it at all. Um, it comes with a little camouflage pouch, uh, which, I, which I don't have here in front of me, unfortunately. Um, but it's the standard uh, Dutch Army camouflage, the DPM pattern like they get from the, the British NATO pattern. Um, so 
they're pretty expensive, you know. Um, there's one for sale on uh, on eBay right now. That is, if you if you search for uh, Dutch Army Victorinox knife, uh, and it's fifty euros um, plus shipping. So by the time you get it to the states, you're paying you know around 75, 78 bucks for this knife, and you know, if you're a fanatic like me, you do it anyway, but I'm not sure if it's necessarily worth that much money. I would love to see Victorinox make this knife available to the general public, though, because I think as a rescue tool, this is a great idea. I would, um, I have been throwing this one in my um, combat lifesaver bag, and I think that's probably where it's going to live. So, what do you think about that, boys and girls? Yeah, give me your opinions. Um, if you found this interesting at all, give me a give me a thumbs up. Um, do me a big favor and mash that subscribe button. So, thanks for your time, everybody. God bless America. Mm -hmm.